seems like uh, you know the defense played really, really well. You got the turnovers, obviously, which were huge. But then last couple of games, it seems to always be that one moment, right? That one play, you need to stop, you give up kind of a chunk. So what's going on there? What does it take to just you know play that complete game where you don't give up the big play and, and you need to stop there? Well, every week, you don't want to give up explosives. Uh, got to play together, got to communicate. And from just from a defensive guy, a defensive standpoint, we, we got to keep the score down. We want to be the difference. We want to make that play. And young guys are learning. Uh, a couple plays really dictate every game. Even if you win going away, it's still two two plays, three plays here that uh, dictated the outcome of the game. So uh, we got to be focused. You got 60 minutes. And um, look what happened last night. And uh, that's why this – Game is number one sport in this country because it's so competitive, and you can win, you can win or lose off a matter of a couple of plays. Larry, your man got 13 tackles on that, right? It just seems like he's an ageless wonder. Um, Falcons ran the ball 38 times, 156 yards on the ground. Your Mike back only had five tackles. When you look at the play of Devin in film, what did you see from that, and was that good enough? Well, uh, he didn't miss tackles. Uh, it's a zone team. Uh, of course, you want more tackles. But uh, certain games, it, playing in a 3-4, the Mike might get a lot of tackles one week. The Mo might get a lot of tackles when they zoning up. Uh, it's just different schemes. And uh, But, yeah, you always want to make more tackles. But he wasn't missing tackles. He wasn't getting his gash. A couple of plays he could have played better. But sometimes when you play in a 3-4, the other guy might get more in one week, and uh, sometimes it might be that month. Then the next month is your turn to pile up a lot of tackles. But I wasn't uh, – he wasn't out of his gaps. He didn't get us uh, hurt in the run game. So he he played it uh, for the most part right. So after the game, Antoine Winfield spoke up in the locker room, and he's not a guy of a lot of words. He played guys How you know he did that? Media wasn't in that early? It was a leak. Okay, it was a leak. Okay. By, by someone. Okay. Um, <laughs> after we held him down. Uh, but no, it, it, so what does it mean to have a guy? We saw the hustle play he made. We see him make plays every week. But, but for someone that isn't really prone to say a lot, then he does it with his actions to actually address the team. Uh, by nature, he's not that rah rah guy. Uh, that's just who he is. But with his play, he's a leader. And he, uh, he demonstrates that on uh, a week to week basis. And what a better way to learn, see our best player make that play. That should raise the standard to everybody, all the young guys. If our best player is fighting, defending every blade of grass, everybody should be doing it. And uh, that's the example. It's better to show it than talk about it. Coach, playing against Josh Allen, someone who has digs and very few other weapons, how important is it to be physical up front in this game? Well, you know, he's an all-world quarterback. Uh, he can make plays. He can make you miss. It's going to take all 11 to hold that guy down and um, got a plaster. You know, I'm telling my guys, it ain't the ordinary three to four second of play. This can be five to six, and uh, he's that type of weapon. The game is turning into that. We see that uh, often, you know, when you match up with these type of quarterbacks. Uh, but this guy's big and strong and elusive, so uh, – it's going to be a challenge for us, and everybody knows that. We're going to have to plaster. We've been saying that all week. Mark Slareth, who called the game with Chris Myers uh, on TV, said that in, in the production meeting that Todd Bowles told him that you guys played man coverage really, really well, but you're not playing zone that well. And we saw the zone play get you guys beat on that 39 yard mm -hmm. pits. Why are you guys playing better man than zone? And do you need to play more man? <laughs> Right. Well, a lot of times in zones, it's a part of uh, anticipating. You know, it's a zone, you know, for a reason. It's going to be open areas. So film study or just anticipating and, uh, you know, playing aggressive and uh, look at the formation and recognize what they like to do, what they can do, what's the weak spot of the zone, and make plays. That will help our zone coverage. And guys just got to keep growing in that area. It's part of pass rush, too and getting the quarterback off his spot. But that's just part of just growing and uh, getting better at uh, what we're weak at right now. Do you guys need to play tighter zone in terms of not giving up as much cushion, generally speaking? Well, that's, that goes back to knowing where the weak 
spot is in the zone, to squeeze the zone, as uh, I'm going to give y'all a one-on-one. -on -one. But to answer your question, guys got to anticipate what they want to do. Formation should tell you that, and they should squeeze the zone. And uh, guys should rotate, stuff like that, that we got to get better at. See you guys. Thank you.